we need to adjust the price on because we bought it, you know, what, six months ago? And it's time to go. This is the one, man. What is going on, everybody? We just found a smoking deal on this 2017 Newell coach that Brad just did a $100,000 price reduction on this coach. And a lot of you are probably wondering why there would be such a significant price reduction. Well, Brad's business partner did use this coach over the summer, was putting miles on it, and now it's one of the older coaches in inventory and they need to find a new home for it. And the price has been lowered to $1,333,333, which makes this one of the least expensive P50 Newell coaches on the market. We found the man himself, so major price reduction. They're gonna be asking, why would you drop this price over a hundred thousand dollars. You know, my partner AJ and his wife Michelle uses Coach this summer, so it's something that uh, we need to adjust the price on because we bought it, you know, what six months ago, and it's time to go. You think one three three is a good price? Yeah, absolutely. One of the best spec 2017s in that price range no on doubt. the market for sure. Yep, a lot of Coach for the money. Let's um, sell it for a million two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Whoa, 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 that escalated quickly. You really want to sell it. So I do. That's yeah, absolutely. $200,000. Yep, let's sell this coach. Somebody buy. This is the one, man. Your end pricing. We, we're not expecting that to happen. So oh. 1.25, that's, that's definitely a buy for sure. Absolutely. The least expensive P50 on the market? 100%. 20 some thousand yes, miles? Yep, absolutely. I mean, the colors, it's all there. The condition, the reconditioning, everything's done. Awesome opportunity. Thank yep. you, sir. We'll let you get back to it. We're going to show you, this Andrew. coach. Yes, Sounds sir. good. Now, this coach was repainted when the previous owner purchased it a little over two years ago, almost three years ago. And I love what they did with the white and different shades of blues, just a stunning exterior. And it has an interior that's just as classy and timeless of a design. So before we go inside, I wanna open the bays up real quick and show you around the bays. Now this is a quad slide coach. These are valid slide rooms, the biggest slide rooms in the class A industry. This bay is gonna be the fuel bay. You can see there's a little camera here so that when you're pulling up to the diesel fuel pump, you can easily align this bay with the fuel pump. And when we open this up, you'll see that 200 gallon diesel fuel tank. You can see it's well lit if you're fueling up at night and you can put down a lot of miles with 200 gallons. It's just such a nice look with the stainless. The next bay is gonna be the plumbing bay. You can see these are the bifolding bay doors. And you can see there's a manifold system here. You have your fresh water fill. It's got this kind of turned aluminum face. And then when we open this door, you can access your holding tanks. This is gonna have a 143 gallon fresh water tank and a 143 gallon waste tank. Does have the Headhunter Mach 5 water pump as well as an auxiliary water pump, which is always nice to have a backup. You can use the auxiliary pump and it will use less water than the bigger pump, but you can get some really good water pressure with this Headhunter Mach 5. Got your sewer hose here that comes out. It's got this little swiveling dump valve a place to wash your hands outside. If you wanna hook up a garden hose out here and hook up a little DI bottle and power washer, you can easily do that. You have your dump controls. You can monitor your tank levels out here. All very simple, clean, your fresh water fill. Right now we are running the 20 kW generator up front. And in this bay, it's gonna house the cooling system for that generator. And then the next bay is gonna be a full pass-through bay. It does have the slide tray that will come out on both sides. It's got the remotes. And then if for some reason your remotes aren't working, you've got the manual switch right here. It's still a power switch, but you can press that switch that's mounted on the wall turned aluminum look on the face with the stainless strip and then the next bay is going to be another full pass through bay with the power slide tray you can see we can have that come out by remote and with the slide rooms out right now you do have to bend down a little bit to open that bay door but when you're loading and unloading stuff even with the slide room out very easy to access this bin. And then it's got a little Velcro here, so you can just kind of stick it right there. Nice, easy spot to store that. 
you always have it close by and all of this carpet is extremely clean you can tell that this coach has been very well cared for up front here i see 2020 date codes on the michelin tires they do have the chrome wheels and just a really sleek paint job that comes through here this is Newell Coach 1609. If you ever want to know the coach number, every Newell Coach is going to have a VIN plate in this driver window area where you can see the year and the last four of the VIN number are going to be the coach number. So up front, you can see the European style mirrors. This is a Porsche designed exterior. So the front and rear caps and the fender wells are all designed by Porsche design. Just an extremely stylish motorhome. That Newell logo will light up at night. And then the beautiful headlights, just a really cool style. But coming around to the door side here, it does have the air door we're gonna open up in a minute, but I wanna show you how quickly I can open all the bays on a Newell coach here. It's got these electric latches here. So I just gently open that up and then those bay doors will just pop up. I mean, you can get these bays opened up in just a few seconds. So here's another camera here on the other side of the diesel bay. So if you do want to fuel up your diesel on this side as well, you can easily see that from the monitor in the driver's cockpit and line up that fuel tank with the fuel pump. And again, line with stainless. And then you're going to see some of your batteries are housed in this area as well. This next bay is gonna be your entertainment bay, and this is gonna be the other side of the plumbing bay. So this is where the holding tanks are housed, but you can see you've got a TV here, and then you can fill your freshwater holding tank from this side, and then you can also dump your tanks from this side as well. And then coming into the next bay here, this is gonna be your electronics bay. It's got this little box that'll come out, and you can easily take that out. And if you need to work inside of this bay, sit on this, it's pretty heavy. Then you can slide right in here. You can see it's well lit, just easy to get in here if you need to work on the coach. And talking about that, I've got to mention the Newell Coach Emergency Service Hotline. If you are in a tight situation and you do need help from Newell Coach, their emergency service hotline is available 24-7, 365. A lot of value to that when you need to troubleshoot something. This next bay is gonna be the other side of the full pass-through bay. It's got a cooler on this side, and then bay one up front here is gonna be a full pass-through bay with that slide tray that comes out. You do have the code entry here for your door, and you do have a doorbell with the camera as well, but this does have an air door. So if you're coming in with groceries or have your hands full, you just press that button. Once the door's unlocked, you can see these executive steps come out. These are very industrial steps. You can jump on that, won't even budge the coach. Before we go in there, I did forget to mention the back of the coach here. This is a very important part of the coach. This coach has the Cummins ISX with 600 horsepower, a 25,000 pound towing capacity, the leading towing capacity in the Class A industry. Here's a side look of the engine bay here. It does have a power washer with the hose reel with this industrial grade power washer hose. And then when we come around to the back of the coach, it's got this electric mechanism that unlatches that. And then you can easily open up this door. You can see that 25,000 pound towing hitch easy access to your Cummins ISX, 1,850 pound-feet of torque, 600 horsepower. You've got your air compressor with the air doubler. So if you do need to air up your tires on this coach, you can do that easily. And then you can easily access your fuel filter here. Newell Coach has been building these coaches for over 50 years, so they're always thinking of little details like that to make the RVer's life easier. There's a lot going on outside, but let's take a look in this interior. I think you guys are gonna like this coach. As you can see, this is a very timeless spec. I love the floors in this coach with the larger tiles. This has definitely got the more modern design. I love the cream color recliner with the ottoman up front, and then you have a space up here that can be utilized as a workspace. Underlit countertop in the galley, you've got Wolf induction cooktop, GE microwave, plenty of storage here. You can see how quickly I can open all of this up. It's all lined with carpet. Underlit countertops are an extremely expensive option. I love this sink too. Very nice style, but you can see you've got a little spot there to put a trash receptacle. Then below your sink, you can see you've got a garbage disposal like you would see in a residential situation. So if you wanna chop up some vegetables and throw them down the garbage disposal into that waste tank, you can do that easily. It's got a nice deep silverware drawer here with the 
Fisher Paykel dishwasher below, and then more drawer space, just lots of deep drawers. And then over here, you have almost a little coffee bar area with another underlit countertop, storage up top, again, well lit, lots of drawer space. And then here you've got almost like a hidden refrigerator. It is a GE monogram refrigerator, and I love how they finish out the face to match the cabinet so you can barely even see it. You can see it's got the little wine rack in there. You've got your, your pull-out ice tray and then your deep freezer drawer here. Then here you've got your wine glass cabinet. This is actually your coffee bar area. That was just a little extra countertop for your galley. Good amount of countertop space here. Again, so nice underlit. And then your wine cooler down here, very high end. You can see that lights up when I open that door. And then it's got these slide out trays here. This is a U-line wine cooler, very high end. And then you've got some storage for a little maybe Cabernet or some red wines over here. And then more storage storage next to your wine glass cabinet as well. So with all of this seating across from your galley, you've got this nice table that will actually pivot up. We've got a button right here where we can raise and lower that table to your comfort. You can also retract it or extend it to make sure that, you know, depending on how big you are, you can make sure that's comfortable to your liking. And you can see quite a few people in this coach with all of this seating, extremely comfortable and so many little details like the piping on the leather, just such high-end finishes. You've got leather panels, the puck lighting. I mean, even the ceiling treatment, when you look closely at this, just leather wrap panels, almost like an automotive paint with that puck lighting. Then you've got indirect lighting above the slide room face, just so many nice little details. And then this ottoman here can be used for storage. It's got multiple uses. You can kind of use it as a coffee table with this little tray on it but if you want to store some pillows or extra blankets nice little spot for that all lined with carpet or if you want to use that as a footrest or an extra seat then going back to this area up front here with this extremely comfortable recliner you do have outlets and usb ports that will come out of the countertop and then drawer space and storage here as well and then coming back up to the cockpit area you have this driver console that will slide around with the two cup holders beautiful diamond stitching on the seats you've got that wood grain steering wheel the carbon fiber dash the huge digital dash the machined pedals so many nice little features that make driving this coach nice and driving this coach is a dream as well it's got the zf suspension and with that 600 horsepower cummins an extremely comfortable machine going down the road and this is a bath and a half coach so we've got this nice half bathroom in the middle of the coach you can see beautiful tile work up the side of the wall two different types of tiles, lots of mirror space. Again, lots of storage lined with carpet. Everything's in excellent condition. So many nice little details here, the way these cabinets curve around. So much craftsmanship goes into all of that. And the way Newell Coach hides everything, I missed a part of the galley that's a lot of storage that just was kind of blending in with the rest of the coach. But check out all of that pantry space more storage here above this pantry very well lit all lined with carpet and then next to that is going to be your washer dryer it is a stackable washer and dryer you can see you've got a spot up here for laundry detergents coming into the rear suite back here so much headroom and the bedrooms of these newell coaches especially these late model newells just do not feel like a motorhome just feels like such a high-end resort. You've got so much space in front of your bed. This does have the TV on the Televator, but you also do have a little bit of storage up top here with outlets. And because the TV on the Televator right here takes up this space, you don't have storage here, but you do have storage in the corner on both sides. And then they utilize every little nook and cranny. You can see just storage and every little spot they can put it again indirect lighting on that slide face so many cool textures that come together so well then i believe they call this a junior king bed you do have some wardrobe next to your bed i like that they've got the full length mirror the face of your closet and your drawers are all mirrored so it kind of creates a full length mirror for you and then when you open that up, very well lit with outlets and then more drawer space. And there is some storage above the bed as well for throw pillows, very deep, lined with carpet. And on this side of the bed, there's another closet. It's a little bit smaller, but there's a little spot for long hanging space if you wanna bring a dress or a race car suit. Always nice to have that long hanging space. 
And then you've got a Patsy low painting here that really ties in the exterior and the interior together as well. We still have a huge bathroom back here. Check this out. And I love how they brought the same floors into the bathroom to keep it consistent through the whole coach. You do have a lot of mirrors back here and this beautiful corner sink. You've got the multi-level countertops, underlit glass bowl sink, and lots of mirrors so that when you're getting ready, you're able to kind of see yourself from every angle. And then you have lots of medicine cabinet space here, outlets in the cabinets, and more closet space along the back of the coach here. You can see all lined with cedar. There's the Newell Coach owner's manuals. Then a huge mirror here behind your head. This does open up, lots of storage here. And then a beautiful shower. I love the light color tile work. You've got a few different styles of tile in the shower. You can tell this glass is all in excellent condition. Plenty of room for a big person to take a shower. And then across from your shower, got a little laundry hamper right here. Just love the way they designed that stuff. We all need a laundry hamper. And then you've got a lot of drawer space here as well. Serious and qualified buyers can contact Bradley Twait. His information is available at themotorcoachstore.com. Thanks to all of you that are subscribing. We hope you're all having a great day. We need to adjust the price on because we bought it, you know, what, six months ago? And it's time to go. This is the one, man.